Hey everyone, what's going on? So the last video that I put out, just a few days ago, I talked about the synchronicity that I had with the Iceland volcano. And basically what happened was, the night before the Iceland volcano, my son, my one and a half year old son woke up and he wouldn't go back to bed in the middle of the night. And he rarely wakes up in the middle of the night. He usually sleeps through the night. And... When he was awake, I figured I would just turn on Netflix and watch some random movie or something until he got tired again. And I just so happened to watch this Will Ferrell movie called Eurovision Song Contest. And the whole movie is about, it's set in Iceland, and right in the very beginning of the movie, he sings a song called Volcano Man. And then later in the day, we got a volcano in Iceland. And for a few months before this, I had been following volcanoes, and I talked about how it was important to the number 129. And what's interesting about this volcano happening, it happened 129 days after my birthday, and it happened in Reykjavik, Iceland. Reykjavik equals 129 in the language of Gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words. Check out some links in the description if you don't know what I'm talking about. I also talked about how that was really important too. Hawaii, because that volcano that erupted in Hawaii is also also equals 129. And it was synced up to Mount Vesuvius and, and some other things. You know, 129 was this big number. And now we recently got a story on Tuesday about the death of this guy named Houston Tumlin, who is famous for being Will Ferrell's son in the movie Talladega Nights. And right away, I know it's important because he died at the age of 28. And he died on the date 323, which is the 82nd day of the year. And look at in Dramatria, if you write out volcano, it just so happens to equal 82 and 28. So he dies on the 20, age 28 on the 82nd day of the year. And if you go back to 2019, the number 82 was this big number I was talking about with this narrative with Dale Earnhardt and the wall and France, and how I thought that a racer would possibly die in, in racing on the date August 31st. And, of course, on August 31st, we got the death of the French racer, Antoine Hubert, and I'll talk all about that in a second. But what's really interesting about this, too, is that August 31st of 2019 was the day that my son, who woke up, was born. He was born on that day. And, I mean, I had followed this day like crazy, all synced up to NASCAR and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And I even talked about the movie Talladega Nights because in 2019, just before the race in Talladega, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s mother, Brenda Jackson, died. She died just before Talladega. And then I also pointed out how Chase Elliott, and look at Chase Elliott and Gematria here really quick. Chase Elliott, just so happens to equal 129. Chase Elliott. So I'm going to be paying attention to Chase Elliott. Maybe there's some other racers that are synced up, but Chase Elliott equaling 129 is interesting because he won that race at Talladega right after Brenda Jackson died. And then he won again on August 4th, which is the same day that Talladega Nights came out. And recall in the movie Talladega Nights, the antagonist in the movie is the, the French racer, right? So Ricky Bobby, he's got he's going against the French racer. So there's a lot going on with France. And I also pointed out that year that August 31st was the anniversary of Princess Diana dying. And she died in France in a car crash, right? So then on that same day, we got the death of the French racer Antoine Hubert. And, you know, just think about that. The French racer died. Princess Diana dying in France. Just before that wreck... On August 15th, which is Napoleon, right, the French emperor, that's his birthday. And on August 15th, we got a plane crash story about Dale Earnhardt Jr. and how he crashed in at Elizabeth Elizabethton Airport. And think about Queen Elizabeth and so on. But he did that on Napoleon's birthday of all days, right, the 227th day of the year. And all year I was talking about how France was important to that because we were following this theme with Tisha Bob that began on August 10th that year, 2019. And it was also World Lion Day. And then, you know, Antoine Hubert, the French racer, he died in Lyon, France, right? But 
looks a lot like Lion. And anyway, Dale Earnhardt's crashes on the 227th day of the year, which is also Napoleon's birthday. So Napoleon born on the 227th day of the year. French Revolution equals 227. French Monarchy, I think it is. Could be wrong. French Monarchy equals 227. On August 10th that year, it was just so happened to be the 227th anniversary of the French monarchy, monarchy falling. I also pointed out that the storming of the Bastille, we had a van crash in 2016, I think it was, on the 227th anniversary of the storming of the Bastille, and a whole lot more, right? It was all about 227. Even the French Revolution began by an assembly of the Estates General that equals 227. And it began on 5-5, five, five, which in history is also the day that Napoleon died and so on, right? So it's all synced up to this number 227. I also talked about how Prince Philip, who's been in the news recently, let me see if I can find it here, but Prince Philip just so happened to, let's see here. He was also in a car wreck in 2019. So he was in a car wreck 227 days before Princess Diana's anniversary dying, August 31st, right? So it's just interesting, right, how it's synced up. Talked about World Lion Day. Then we we later had the Ethiopian airline crash, and it was synced up to the Lion of the tribe of Judah, who's Holly Selassie. And World Lion Day fell during the sign of Leo, which is a lion, and Holly Selassie was born on the first day of Leo. And there, there was a whole bunch of stuff going on, but notice Prince Philip, 227. Talking about this huge narrative and how it's all synced up to France. And anyway, let's let's look more into this story here. So Houston, I just kind of wanted to catch you up on to speed on why I am talking about this and why I am making this connection to the death of Houston Tumlin right after I'm talking about Will Ferrell being important to the volcano narrative and then this guy dies age 28 on the 82nd day of the year and you know back then I even uh an another reason why another reason why I thought a racer would die on August 31st that year was because the same day as the Talladega race after Brenda Jackson died Dale Earnhardt's mother there was a story about Dale Earnhardt Jr. and how he was going to race in an Xfinity race that year. And he was going to drive in the Hellman's Mayonnaise car, which was a tribute to his father. And the whole point with me under thinking that it was important to France was because NASCAR was actually founded by a guy named Bill France. And just before the Daytona 500 that year... We got a story about Donald Trump declaring the wall a national emergency. Think about Dale Earnhardt crashing into the wall. And when he did, Michael Waltrip ended up winning the race. But the word wall equals 48. NASCAR was in its 48th season. Donald Trump equals 48. And a whole bunch more. So I started thinking maybe there was something important to the wall symbolism and Dale Earnhardt. And Dale Earnhardt... Senior just so happened to die at the age of 49 on the 49th day of the year. And NASCAR was established in the year 49. And the 49th prime number is 227. That number that was synced up to France, right? So, and then when I saw that Bill France was the founder of NASCAR, I knew there was something important that Dale Earnhardt Jr. was going to be racing on August 31st in the Xfinity race. And that just so happened to be Princess Diana's birthday or death anniversary and so on. And then once, like I said, we got the death of the French racer Antoine Hubert on that day. So hopefully that makes more sense. But, you know, in regards to that, the, this new kid, Houston Tumlin dying on the 82nd day of the year. Back then I pointed out that Dale Jr.'s birthday is the day that leaves 82 days in the year. I also pointed out that Bill France equals 82 in Gematria and he died age 82. And if you write out NASCAR, it equals 82. But it's in these Francis Bacon ciphers. But once again, think about France and Francis Bacon and Pope Francis. And I didn't realize until later on that the word NASCAR is, this cipher is important to all capital letters, right? And the word NASCAR is actually all capital letters, should, all be, should be all capital letters. And I'll explain why this is important 
in a little bit, but at the time I just wrote out NASCAR because that's how I had seen it on a few things I thought. And NASCAR equaled 82, so I noticed that the founder, Bill France, his name equaled 82, and he also died at the age of 82. And he died 111 days before his birthday, or, or after his birthday, one or the other, 111. And I was like, look at how it syncs up to NASCAR and the word Earnhardt. Just so happens to equal, or Dale Earnhardt, just so happens to equal 111. And then uh, that same year, the day, the, at the Daytona 500 of 2019, Denny Hamlin, the guy in the number 11 car, won it. Right after J.D., he, he won it. In honor of J.D. Gibbs, who died on January 11th, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check it out really quick. But J.D. Gibbs. Yeah, he died on 111 at the age of 49 even, right? So you see how this narrative, I was picking up on this narrative that was going on. But, I'll, like I said, I'll explain more of this. But uh, I also pointed out that Dale Earnhardt was racing at the Darlington Raceway for the Xfinity race, and Darlington Raceway equals 82. It also equals 227 in the, or Darlington equals 227 in the Francis Bacon Ciphers. But the word Xfinity equals 82, Darlington Raceway 82, Dale Jr.'s birthday leaves 82 days in the year. You know, this big number that was going on. I also pointed out Chase Elliott equals 82, and his birthday was 82 days before the anniversary of Dale Sr. dying. I pointed out how he won the Talladega, and it was synced up to Talladega Nights and the French Racer. Talked about how Pope Francis was also 82 years old, and just a ton of stuff. So then we get that guy's death on the 82nd day of the year. And what's interesting is, on 919 of 2019, that's the day that I realized that I made this error in the how how I spelled NASCAR, and I, I realized this after we had the death of this Mike Stefanik or however you say his name, one of the racers, and he just so happened to die in a plane crash just after Dale Earnhardt Jr. was in a plane crash, right? And I pointed out how it, it absolutely synced up still. Like, look at his name, Michael Paul Stefanik, 111. Monster equals 111. He crashed in Sterling, Connecticut that equaled 111. Recon Airport equals 82. And I was pointing out, man, it's crazy how they all sync up, even though I didn't do NASCAR with all capital letters. And whatever else. But I did point out that NASCAR with all capital letters equals 262. And that was interesting because the date 919 was... It's a day I've talked about important to the royal family and Queen Elizabeth since 2014. YouTube gave my video about Ramona Quimby a strike and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm, I don't want to re-explain it all, but it's a day that I've been following with the royal family and Queen Elizabeth since 2014. And uh, that's the 262nd day of the year. And in 2019, it was 91919, right? 91919, which is I thought was interesting. And then, you know, the... Uh, what is it? The word queen equals the word queen equals 26 and 62 as well. But the word queen also let's see what it is equals 19 in the reverse. And, you know, 91919 and the word queen equals 19. So I was like, oh, that's a pretty interesting date for the queen and so on. But uh, let me find my post here. But so I just thought that was interesting that NASCAR 262. I made this post on the 262nd day of the year. But notice how I highlighted the word Coventry. This guy died. I said, his plane left from Coventry, Rhode Island. And I even put it in capital letters for some reason. Reminds me of Coven, Covenant, so on. And what's interesting about this is that on December 20th, the same thing happened to me. I noticed that I was spelling the word COVID wrong. And the word COVID, COVID-19, if you use it in the Francis Bacon ciphers, if you write COVID-19 out, so cold in my garage, but you write COVID-19, it equals 264. But really, the word COVID is supposed to be all capital letters. Although CNN often does it like this, COVID. But notice how it's 264. 
and 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 the word vaccine also equals 264 and they said the first lady to get the vaccine in the uk was margaret keenan who equals 264 and a whole lot more right and margaret keenan she's the first lady the first man was named william shakespeare and there's a conspiracy theory that William Shakespeare and Francis Bacon are actually the same person, right? So, so just think about that with the Francis Bacon ciphers and how they're important and so on. And they told us that Margaret Keenan was from Coventry, right? That's where they said she was from, Coventry. And so like, what are the odds that I misspell both of these words with capital letters and both of, both of them are important to the word Coventry, right? which is also important to William Shakespeare and Francis Bacon and so on, right? And then what are the odds, too, if you write them out the right way, they both equal 212, right? In the Francis Bacon ciphers, COVID-212 and uh, NASCAR, NASCAR-212. You know, what are the odds of that? They both equal the same thing. Of course, you know, Seattle, Washington's 212, and that's where the Space Needle is, and that's where coronavirus supposedly began in the united states and the date 212 is also important to nascar because it's the 43rd day of the year and nascar also equals 43 but you know just pointing it out that but the reason i'm pointing this out is that i realized that i was spelling covid wrong on the date 1220 and if you go back back in december ed rod messaged me about the number 111 Remember how NASCAR equals 111 and with doing the Francis Bacon wrong? He's, he was having a bunch of sinks with the number 111, and it was synced up to volcanoes. And I said, well, that's interesting because Hawaii equals 111. And remember, the North Korean missile scare was 111 days before the Hawaiian volcano eruption in 2018. And then on December 20th, we got a volcano eruption for the first time since 2018 in Hawaii. Just, you know, two weeks after I talked about talked with Ed Rod about this on Facebook. And notice that my post where I realized that I spelled COVID wrong was also on that same day. The same day as the Hawaii volcano. You know, so pretty interesting. It's the same day as the Hawaii volcano. The word Iceland in Jewish gematria also equals 82. Just pointing that out. Iceland equals 82 in Jewish gematria. Just thinking about Tisha B'Av and so on. And Volcano 82. Tumlin died on the 82nd day of the year. Mike Stefanik, he also died on Prince Harry's birthday. So that's just something to think about. I, did, I didn't put that together until last night, but... Notice that Houston Tumlin also died 201 days before Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s birthday. And Houston Tumlin equals 201. That's this big number we've talked about in regards to coronavirus and event 201 and the Jesuits and a whole lot more, right? So, 201. The, uh, remember last year, NASCAR, right before coronavirus got really big, Ryan Newman got in that wreck and ryan newman's full name equals 201 as well so and he was also called the rocket and think about the word the name houston tumlin think about the houston rockets right and the word rockets i believe equals 28 too and he died at the age of 28 just saying here rockets equal 28 so th there's a parallel here that I, I don't fully understand but Ryan Newman, that was right around the time that Elton John was in the news for being sick, and Elton John was in the movie Rocket Man, and, you know, remember how Donald Trump was also there, too? Donald Trump went to that Daytona 500. Let's see what else I wrote in here. Tumlin died 33 days after the anniversary of Dale Sr. dying. Dale Sr.'s final final when his final win was at talladega tumlin died 33 days before nascar the nascar race in talladega this year on 425 okay so houston tumlin died 33 days after the anniversary of dale senior dying and dale senior's final win was at talladega 
and Tomlin died 33 days before the race in Talladega this year, or the first race in Talladega. And he also died three months and three days after my post about learning that COVID was spelled wrong, right? On the same day as the Hawaii volcano. And he also died exactly 33 weeks after the anniversary of the movie Talladega Nights coming out. So, you know, interesting pattern. But I've also documented a lot about earthquakes too lately. Now it syncs up to Japan and Los Angeles and Toronto. And if you look up Talladega, or just type in NASCAR and look up the big one. It's really associated with Talladega because there's lots of wrecks and stuff. But think about the big one in relation to earthquakes as well, right? So something I pointed out a long time ago too with that. So the big one, earthquakes. Houston Tumlin died 115 days before Will Ferrell's birthday, also three months and 23 days. So he died on 323, three months and 23 days before Will Ferrell's birthday, also 115 days. And the race in Talladega, the first one this year, is going to be on the 425, which is the 115th day of the year. Thought I had another 115 in here too. Oh, I know what it was. If you go from Chase Elliott's birthday, to the day that Houston Tumlin died, Chase Elliott's birthday, to the day Houston Tumlin died is 115 days, also three months and 23 days. So that's even more so why I'm thinking that there's something important to Chase Elliott, but we will see. If you go from Talladega this year to Will Ferrell's birthday, it's 82 days as well. Also two months, 21 days, which is interesting because that's another number I was talking about with volcanoes. 221 and Mount Vesuvius equals 221. 82 days, like the word volcano. Think about Will Ferrell singing Volcano Man in the movie about Iceland. There's another race in Talladega on October 3rd, which is a, it's the 31st race of the NASCAR season. And the word Houston equals 31. So that might be an important one too. It's also 194 days after Houston Tumlin died and Ralph Dale Earnhardt Jr. equals 194. Remember, Dale Earnhardt Jr., his mother died 194 days after his 44th birthday, right? His full name equals 194. And it was all about the number 44, like, right? She died of cancer. Cancer equals 44. Cigarettes, 44. Chemo, 44. Kill, 44. Earnhardt equals 44. Her name was Brenda Jackson. Brenda equals 44. Jackson equals 44. Then he decided to drive in the Xfinity race, and Xfinity equals 44, I think. And he drove the Hellman's car, Hellman's equals 44. And it, they gave us that story four months and four days before he, he drove at the Xfinity race, and a whole lot more, right? All about the number 44 and 194. So interesting, this guy dies 194 days before the second race in Talladega this year. It's also six months and ten days, this big number I've been following a lot with Prince Philip, because that's Prince Philip's birthday. Think about Prince Philip being in that car wreck 227 days before the French racer Antoine Hubert died, who was from Lyon, France, and France was important to World Lion Day, and right after Antoine Hubert died, we got the, there was like a flood or something big that happened with the Lion King, where the Lion King was filmed, I can't remember what it was. And there was a stabbing in Lyon, France as well. So it's like, you know, 610, 10, 6. NASCAR equals 106. So after I, was, I wrote this blog post last night, and my girlfriend came home, and I went into the kitchen to see what was going on or whatever, and talked to her, Ed. This speaker was sitting up on our stove, and it's been there for a few days, but I never really looked at it, and I mean, it doesn't always sit there, but it's her brother Cody who lives with us, his speaker that he bought, and I walked into the kitchen right after writing this big old post, and I mean, what are the odds that it says Volcano on it? It's spelled different, but like, what are the odds? It says Volcano Mamba. I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, Volcano Mamba. I'm writing this big post about volcanoes and how it's important to Will Ferrell and whatever else. And then I went back to the living room and I sat down because I was writing this post on my phone because my kids are climbing on me or whatever. And 
my daughter starts listening to her tablet. She starts listening to the songs from the movie Frozen and singing along. And I'm just thinking Frozen, Iceland, you know, think about volcanoes, fire, and ice. There's got to be some type of narrative that's going along there, right? Although Greenland's actually cold and Iceland's not, you know, all ice. So, and remember, around August 10th of 2019, a big thing that I was talking about was the Scandinavia area and how it was important and how I had the synchronicity with my friend from Denmark. And I said, I think there's something important to Denmark. And then the next day, the major story in the news was that Donald Trump wanted to buy Greenland from Denmark. So <laughs> there's some interesting parallels there. There's something going on with that area, you know, Iceland. You know, it's funny too. I, I last night I watched, I watched some movie called like, can't remember. It's got Joseph Gordon Levitt and Jamie Foxx in it. This pill you take where you get superpowers. And this one girl takes the pill and she like, they even make a frozen joke now that I'm thinking about it. She's like inside, she's locked inside this barrier and she's like, can, I don't know, something to do with ice. And she starts like freezing everything. I can't, it's just funny. I'm just thinking about that right now. Can't remember what that movie is called. Something power. Had the word power in it, but I watched it really late at night and I fell asleep at some point, but. Hopefully this makes sense, but this is how I follow these narratives, you know, like the things that I'm talking about and the things in my own life, they are important. And if you, you know, everybody probably has this ability, like to pay attention to things that are personal to them and figure out how it's related and so on. It doesn't always have to be the cabal that is doing this. That's, you know, it's, I'm not disagreeing that there is a cabal and all that, you know, that's why I keep making these videos saying, look at this, like. Why aren't more people applying this, you know, doing it this way? And I'm not saying I'm doing it right and I'm the only, we should, everybody should just do it my way, but it seems like not that many people are even trying to understand it this way, you know? And that's all. That's all I'm getting at. I'm not trying to like say that my way is better or anything, but I'm trying to show people that there's a lot more to this than just everything is the cabal, you know? And, you know? And I know there are people who are doing, you know, studying their own life and so on, right? I'm not saying that either, but there's, I've connected the dots on so many things that you're like, how in the world? That doesn't even seem to make sense, but it does because, because it does. <laughs> like, it, it makes sense because I know my own life and I know my own personal story. And, you know, that, that's why these videos are hard to do because I'm trying to explain my own life to people who don't really know my life, you know? So it is difficult, but, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> I do know what I'm trying to say, but I just wish, I wish we could advance this and understand more with this knowledge. I'm just, you know, and I feel like if more people would start really, really, really trying to apply this and, get deeper into it we would get a deeper understanding and you know we could possibly figure out how to how to help the world with this knowledge you know and i, I just don't feel like we're going to do it by continually just saying that every 67 means that somebody got blood sacrificed you know because you don't know that for sure like that number 67 can have countless other meanings that are personal to you if you just pay attention and you can figure out tons of other things just by following the patterns that exist that are personal to you and that have nothing to do with blood sacrifice. So, you know, there's multiple meanings with this knowledge and, you know, saying that though, like, like Joe Biden becoming the second Catholic president at the age of 46, to me, that doesn't seem like a synchronicity. That seems like, you know, this planned agenda, right? I, I get that. I, I understand that. But, there might be something in your own life that is connected to why Joe Biden is the 46th Catholic president and, you know, the, the second Catholic president and the 46th president. And you might be able to understand something because of that, right? 
And that's what I'm trying to convey, right? There's multiple meanings and there's more things to pay attention to than just this scripted narrative that we're given, I guess. But whatever. Have a good one. Peace.